Weird is one word often used to describe Oregon, referring to some of the state's quirkiness mixed with the region's sense of rugged individuality. Doing things a little differently has helped Oregon lead the way in galvanizing cross-sector partners to improve health outcomes. In the summer of 2016, cross-sector partners in the Portland area came together for a first-ever Social Impact Summit. This summit was designed to discuss how they can work together to build community resilience. The BCR approach helps providers and organizations break down silos to foster healing and rebuild trust among community members, organizations, and systems, including the healthcare system. Change moves at the speed of trust, trust moving at the speed of relationship development, relationship development moving at the speed of communication and communication occurring at the speed of commitment to meet or convene. Among the many community health issues facing Portland is the rising number of homeless families. Recent statistics indicate that more than 1,800 people sleep outside in tents or on Portland streets every night. This crisis has prompted the city's mayor to declare a state of emergency, directing additional funding to increase the number of shelter beds. But even with this additional funding and more than 500 beds, the city's shelters are at capacity every night. Portland, as with many cities across the country, is facing an epidemic in homelessness as gentrification crowds out affordable housing. While we were in Portland, we witnessed families being swept out from one campsite to another with no long-term solution in sight. What happens to children living with the day-to-day -day stress of such instability? With homelessness, families are challenged to maintain balanced diets. Children are at higher risk for falling behind in school due to emotional and behavioral problems rooted in the traumas of being without a stable and safe home to call their own. In the face of a failing system, some in Portland's public health and community are calling for a revolution in how we deliver much needed services to families in need. This whole cycle of we, we help kids, we help families, and we send them back out into a society that re-injures them, doesn't understand their trauma, doesn't understand the suffering specifically, and so they just keep coming in. It's a revolving door. And whether that's generation to generation, right? Like we had your mom and now we have you and we'll probably have your daughter. This construction site will soon be the new Fabian School, an elementary school with nearly 500 mostly low-income students. Nearly half of all students who attend Fabian are either homeless or live in public housing. To address their needs in education, housing, health, and beyond, Concordia University, the Fabian School, Portland Public Schools, and Trillium Family Services have come together in a cross-sector partnership called 3 to PhD. Here at Fabian, it's not just education that takes place, but rather a holistic approach that provides food assistance, trauma-informed care, and opportunities that help parents. Together, they can maximize their positive impact in the lives of the children, their families, and the community. Everybody's going to want to address what they're already working on. And I think that's also my hope, too, right? It's like, good, we're harnessing the expertise of people who have been working in silos. We're linking those silos. We're figuring out where duplication is happening. We're, we're going to be more effective together. But, but, but my hope is that people continue to uh, meet the needs of the community in a way that the community has asked for, in a way that the community needs, and put community first so that that com competition or that feeling of like loss is actually mitigated by um, the realization that we're actually helping people. There will always be crises and adversities, but through collaboration and cooperation across sectors, we can help families not just bounce back, but bounce forward. The Portland BCR experience is just one example of how we can build truly resilient communities.